When it comes to filling a transmission without a dipstick, things can be challenging to say the least. I found a much better way to fill the transmission in my 2013 F-150, and I'm going to briefly go over how I did it. As you can see, there is a small funnel with a clear tube traveling through the engine bay. Just make sure the tube is not touching the exhaust when it's running. More on that in a bit. You can see how the clear tube maneuvers around the transmission cooler lines, and then how it looks heading up into the engine bay. Again, the main goal is to prevent it from touching the exhaust. Now, this tube is about 4 feet of 3 8 inch inner diameter and a half inch outer diameter. This is from a 10 foot roll that cost me about 10 bucks and can be used for multiple jobs. I'll explain how later. Once you have it set up like this, go ahead and remove the fill plug and the small dipstick inside. Then you can push the tube right into the fill hole. As you can see, you can easily grab the funnel and start filling. Now with the engine off, fill the transmission until it's full. When I filled mine, it took just under six quarts if I remember correctly. Then you need to start your engine and let it run until the transmission gauge shows the fluid is warm. It will take a little while, which is why you need to make sure the clear tube is not touching the exhaust. While it's warming up, go ahead and shift the transmission through the gears while keeping your foot firmly pressed on the brake pedal. You do not want the truck to move. You are just trying to get the fluid to move through each gear. Just do that a few times until you are ready to continue filling. Now, most people have been able to add another quart of fluid and some have been able to add a little bit more. I added a quart of Lucas transmission additive and then topped it off a little bit more with Mercon LV. That completely filled my transmission. If you follow this process, you should have exactly the amount you need in your transmission. So I wipe it off. Yep. And now we check it without burning ourselves. That's the trick. Put it back in all the way. I'll take it out. Oh my God, that is perfect. Is it? Show right there on the A. Show it to me. Right there on the A. Alright. That is perfect. <coughs> then all you need to do is tighten the fill plug before shutting the engine off. Do not over tighten this plug. Since your transmission is hot, it could weld itself to the pin once it cools down. I recommend you barely tighten it down, let it cool off, and then tighten a little bit more if you need to. I typed all of this out so you can screenshot it if you wanted to. Once your transmission is filled, all you need to do is pull the clear tube straight out. Pretty simple. Oh, and one more thing. That catalytic converter will get scorching hot. If you want to prevent burning your arm while tightening down the plug, I found these grill gloves that extend past the wrist and will protect you. I found them very helpful, so I figured I would at least mention it. That's all there is to it. If you found any part of this video helpful or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss a video from our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.